northern Wales before outbreaks of rain arrive by the end of the day on Wednesday. A little bit cooler, 10 to 14 degrees on the whole. But that weather front will bring some wet and windy weather, potentially thundery to begin with as it moves its way steadily north and east. Don't expect any change to the weather story as we move to the weekend and into next week. It stays pretty autumnal. Tonight at 6, Hamas officials say that more than 5,000 people have been killed in the Israeli bombardment since the war began, 2,000 of them children. The ongoing suffering of civilians on the ground, caught in the middle of the conflict between Israel and Hamas. Mourning the dead in Israel as more details emerge of people's ordeal. A teenage daughter is buried, her father is still missing. And our experts will have answers to your questions on the causes and the likely fallout of this most complex of wars. Also on the programme tonight, how to tackle the rise in shoplifting up a quarter in a year while prosecutions fall. There's more heavy rain on the way for large swathes of England already hit by flooding. And the man who used his lottery winnings to buy a pool table and is now representing his country at the sport. Well, believe you me, I mean, you can win the lottery and it's nice, it's wonderful and fantastic. But you can't buy a place in the England team. And coming up on BBC News, Afghanistan looked to stage another upset at the Cricket World Cup against Pakistan. And it might do England a favour in the group. What a magnificent shot that is. Good evening from Jerusalem. Hamas officials in Gaza say that more than 5,000 people, including 2,000 children, have been killed since Israeli airstrikes began more than two weeks ago. The strikes are in response to attacks by Hamas that killed more than 1,400 Israelis, with more than 200 still being held hostage. Israel's armed forces have now intensified their bombardment of the Gaza Strip. Military officials say that they hit 320 targets overnight, ahead of a widely anticipated ground offensive. The defence minister here has warned the military campaign against Hamas, which is designated a terrorist...